Dan, what business and marketing tools could you not live without? Sorry, I'm still laughing at your previous intro that you tried to do. Um, there wasn't a previous one. <laughs> so uh, before I dive into them, we've both got five tools each that we cannot live without. And I think this is going to be a really useful episode to anyone in marketing, anyone in business who wants to make their life easier and more and get better results and more effective and all that good stuff. Yeah. My definition of tools is quite relaxed. What, what is a tool? Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting opposite one. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. let's, let's, let's. Um, well, uh, to be honest, my tools aren't tools. They're just <laughs> oh, things. Great. No, Brilliant. Well, I suppose, <laughs> no, hang on. Definition. What is a tool? A tool is a thing you use to help you do stuff. That's <laughs> definitely what the Oxford English di Dictionary says. Yeah. Um, and that's the definition I've used. Basically, it's something that helps with my business knowledge and Makes ability to do a good job. Yeah. Cool. So the way I've prepped this, I don't know how you have, Lloyd, hopefully it's in line with me, is I'm going to say what the tool is. Oh, these these aren't preps, Dan. Oh, these they're are, just... Our podcasts are completely just natural conversations. <laughs> okay. Providing value naturally to our audience. <laughs> okay. Providing entertainment okay. very naturally, in my case, okay. to our audience. <laughs> Okay, so the way I'm naturally probably going to go about yeah. approaching this, just thinking about it right in the in the moment, yeah. what's is, that paper? <laughs> is saying what the tool is, uh, why I love it, mm -hmm. and how much it is. Okay, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see when I yeah. start. So, well. pff, randomly thinking of a tool, should I start and just think of one on the yeah, spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the tools. Oh, let me sure. think of a tool that um, I think is super effective for our business is Slack. When I first heard about Slack, I thought it was just a tool that people use to kind of look cool because they're like, oh, do you use Slack? Yeah, they use Slack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no, never use email. Yeah. Yeah, like, email, what's email? <laughs> In the 1920s. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right, <laughs> Boris. And uh, uh, we obviously wanted to try and look cool, so we started using it and realized it's an absolute game changer. So for those that don't know what Slack is, Slack is kind of messaging and communication platform. Imagine WhatsApp on steroids. Is that a good? WhatsApp for business, I'd say. But WhatsApp, be yeah, on steroids as in it's yeah. better. Not that not that you're better if you take steroids. Mm. Um, no judgment. <laughs> but um. <laughs> And the reason, the reason uh, I love this is because it very simply and easily categorizes conversations into channels so that you can communicate more efficiently with your internal team and with clients. Because you can create channels that all the conversations to do with one thing go in that channel. So it's not all in emails that are difficult to keep up with. It's not all in one WhatsApp group that's difficult to keep up with. Also like email threads when you're like, oh, what did Stephen say three weeks ago? With emails, it's like, oh, I wasn't copied in that one. Mm. Oh, have you got, yeah, scroll back. Whereas Slack, um, you can search throughout a channel. Like, like, you know it's in that channel because that's what the conversation is about. search keywords. You to can do search, it, yeah. find it. Everyone can see it that needs to see it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's re a really good feature as well. And in terms of how much it costs, it starts free. But with, do we pay more than that now? There, there, there is. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> we definitely pay oh, for cool. Slack. Yeah. yeah, I think the, yeah. the more team members you have... Um, I think put it this way, we've got around ten people on it, and we spend about fifty quid a month. I think there you go. But the va the value is, I'd pay a lot more than that yeah. for the value we get from it. That's my first one, Lloyd. What have you got for me? Just you know, off the top of your head. Uh, off the top of my head, oh, God. <laughs> um, you know, just completely naturally off the top of my head, <laughs> a tool called Frame IO. Oh, um, so this is um, may not be good for everyone but if you do anything with video ever whether it's oh i made a tiktok or whether it's oh i produced a feature length film and um, frame io is basically a tool that cuts out the the conversations of sending a video file to someone and then going oh i didn't quite like that bit just after this thing um, and that green bit of 126, can you hmm. can you make that a bit more like the other bit? And then you read through feedback and you're like, well, what, what is he talking about? What, so how does it, it solve that problem, Lloyd? So it solves that problem by uh, one person uploads video to Frame.io, whatever it is, whether it's a 10-second TikTok or a 30-minute video uh, documentary series. Uh, you can share that link with anyone you want to. They can leave comments while they're watching it, and that comment... Will be uh, will have a timestamp and be linked and really cleverly shown exactly where it is, 
Um, so say there's something at 126 that they're commenting on. It will show you in the timeline. That's where it is. That's what they've commented. That's what they're saying. Um, and it also links with uh, video editing platforms. So you can have a direct link. And while you're editing on your software, it's like, oh, that bit there. Mm. Um, so good for video editors as well. But it's just basically similarly to Slack, really. You might be thinking, oh, this is a very specific video thing. It improves communication and makes it really efficient mm. and uh, cuts out the, oh, what do they mean by mm. that? What bit are they talking about? And I think it, it's really a game changer if you use video, whether it's oh, I need my colleague to approve this video or I need some feedback or I need this client to leave feedback mm. on this. It's... How much is it? It is an amount of money. <laughs> uh, because I'm just thinking off the top of my oh, head, okay. um, I'm afraid I didn't know we were talking about costs. Right. It's not very expensive though, is it? No. Again, like... how much does it cost? It costs good value. That's how much it okay. costs. Okay. Cool. Um, just, just message me. Or just look it up yourself if you want to know the cost. Frame.io. Great. My next one, which is something I constantly How much about. does it cost? Uh, it starts at free. I haven't said what it is yet. Oh, everything <laughs> starts at free then. Um, so uh, HubSpot. So HubSpot is, it does everything. But it's an all-round marketing and sales tool. Actually, I fancy some donuts, Dan. Can you just make some with HubSpot? <laughs> does everything, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you make my life difficult. Sorry. So, <laughs> so, um, but I'll tell you what the main thing we use it for is it's sales and CRM system. A CRM system is a customer relationship management. Is that what it stands for? I, I think, think it is. Yeah. Where you basically can input customer data and you can create these pipelines, these sales pipelines with different steps that your potential customers go through that you can log and ensure you're doing everything possible to convert as many new customers as possible. And so how does it help you ensure you're doing anything possible? Because delve into it. you can basically, when a new lead comes in, you can put it in the system and then you can set tasks to remind you to do stuff to, to nudge them through each step of the process in its most simplistic form. It's got loads of other features that show you how your pipeline's performing and that kind of thing. But um, the main thing we use it for, yeah, is the sales and CRM system. We found, find it useful as well with kind of reporting in our management meetings that we have every month. Um, it splits each sort of level of your pipeline if you set it up and kind of adds the value of the deals that are at various stages. And it makes it uh, very easy. If, if your job, whether you're a one-man band who just needs to speak to your accountant, or if you're in a huge corporation that needs to say how the sales mm. pipeline's going, it gives you figures uh, which are very easily comparable to last month mm. or last week or yesterday. So I think that's really useful. And we still use the free version. And we're three years into using it. I was going to say, I'm surprised we get so much value from the free mm. version, but we, we really genuinely do, do. So starts at free. Yes. Give us your next one, Lloyd. My next one is zero. I feel like my ones are boring. Yeah, but they're still useful. So I, just stick with me here because zero is an accounting software, if you don't know, guys. <sighs> but I, <laughs> uh, this will be brief. Um, I've never met anyone that has switched to zero and said anything negative okay so whether it's a small business going from like spreadsheets to zero or whether it's someone that switched from like quickbooks to zero um so far i've never met anyone that said oh god i i was having much better time and it's much better for my business with this previous thing i was doing everyone is always saying oh my god that's made this so much mm. better and so much easier and um for me, uh, it's, there's the whole thing about making tax digital in the UK. So that helps with that initiative of just everything's digital, makes that much, much easier. But for me, it's uh, I feel like zero gives me a superpower, we. which is uh, super being able to forecast your finances in the future, man. <laughs> okay, that um, sounds like a shit superhero. <laughs> <laughs> that is the um, worst superhero I've ever heard of. No, I think that, Marvel will be making any films about that one soon. I'm available for any appearances <laughs> as a new superhero character. Um, but stick with me because th yep. this, I know it sounds boring, but before we didn't have any way to clearly and efficiently kind of show us 
In three months' time, where are our finances going to be? Mm. In six months' time, where are we going to be? In a month's time, where are we going to be? And now zero make that very easy. And it, the reason it feels like a superpower, although not a great superpower, <laughs> yeah. is if you can be making decisions on your business in three months time rather than now and saying oh yeah in three months time we will have twenty thousand pound to invest in that new studio that we did recently. that we did um that feels like a superpower because you I, we never could do that before we never had a clear enough picture mm -hmm. of our future finances and a forecast that was reliable that allowed us to make those decisions <laughs> and helped our business grow do you remember when we started out and we we just used to have an excel spreadsheet Yes. With, with just numbers that didn't make yes. any sense. <laughs> After about a year, we had no idea if we were even profitable. <laughs> there were lots of numbers there, though. And I'm guessing you don't know how much zero costs. <laughs> zero uh, is good value. Okay. <laughs> My next one, I feel bad because this isn't a tool. This is a more of a resource, but I did... When I prepared this podcast episode, I called this marketing resources and you didn't like it. So this is a kind of marketing resource mm -hmm. called the Diary of a CEO podcast. Again, I'm going to keep this brief because I speak about this a lot. What is it? It's the greatest podcast of all time. It's a podcast run by Stephen Bartlett. Um, he's actually the new dragon on Dragon's Den. Yes. You should watch that if you haven't. My wife and sister-in-law have started watching Dragon's Den since he's been on there. Oh. And I don't think it's just because of his business knowledge <laughs> from the conversations okay. I've ever heard. Nice. Well, yeah. Stephen, if you're single then uh, and you're watching this, which you never will be, then... Uh, then give, what? what then, <laughs> then get with Lloyd's wife. <laughs> what, what was the call to action there for Stephen Bartlett? Yeah. We should definitely clip this and send it to Stephen Bartlett. Um, oh, hi, Stephen. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for making her happy. <laughs> So that's what it is. I absolutely love that podcast. Um, learned so much from it. It started out just him doing it as a solo podcast. Now he has some of the world's leading experts and a whole range of topics to discuss different things. And it's really, really good. Uh, it's free as well to listen to or watch on YouTube. My next tool in inverted commas, I'm going to go with something very similar, um, is just audible. So again, mm. it's not at all like, oh, use this for your finances in your business. Mm. But like I said, the definition of a tool for me, something that really helps me in business. And um, Audible, being able to listen to books, mm. like when you're normally, when you can't read. So you can't read a book while you're driving. Dangerous. <laughs> Have you okay. tried it? <laughs> okay. Very dangerous. You can't read a book while you're, uh, while you're washing up. Wet. <laughs> okay. You can't, you can't this is so Brent. read a book uh, at night, dark. <laughs> okay. But with Audible, um, you can. You can uh, you listen to books. Good. <laughs> uh, at any time when normally you can't get the value. And um, <laughs> so David Brent. Uh, oh, I've lost it now because you're laughing. So, God, I'm so funny. I've lost it. But... Yeah, what I'm trying mm. to say, sorry for going Brent there, mm. um, the kind of minuscule steps in my knowledge of like business and kind of self-improvement that then help has a knock-on effect to business and building my knowledge gradually while I'm driving, what is Audible? washing up. Audible, it's an uh, audiobook platform. Mm. Um, and I think it, they do a free month, first month free, yeah. it's like seven ninety nine, nine ninety nine a month, something like that. Yeah, I think I pay seven ninety nine, but oh. everyone gets a free month at first, so you mm. can try listening to audiobooks for free, and then if you like it. But um, yeah, it, that that minuscule like steps in knowledge that normally you weren't able to educate mm. yourself because dangerous, wet, dark. <laughs> um, I think it has like a snowball effect, and you don't notice it, and then after a year of list, you know, looking back, like oh, I've listened to. In your first year, let's be, you might, oh, 20 books. Mm. Okay, that's like more than achievable because it's so easy to do. And then you think, oh, actually, mm. yeah, I learned that thing. And then we had this meeting at work. We implemented that. And down the line, that's mm. that's made our business hugely more efficient. I've or made us more money. What? <laughs> You're making me think of, you know, that Skillshare or whatever account that the business pays for? Masterclass. Masterclass. Yep. Can you tell me some masterclasses you've done to make use of that? Sure. Mexican cooking. <laughs> um, for one. Yeah. 
And that's really helped me in the business <laughs> with my professional development. Because when I feel like I've got all the nutrition for Mexican food I need, yeah. I perform better at work. Good. Chess. <laughs> um, why is, why is, why is Nelson paying for Helps this? Helps me think in different ways. <laughs> okay. Um, and I can bring yeah. that to work. Okay. Um, music production by Timberland. <laughs> T- Tim- oh, God. Um, Timberland. Um, makes me think creatively. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, my next tool. Uh, <laughs> how did, my you, next how did you find out that the business was paying for that? Because I, I remember seeing Ida put in this Slack group things we're paying for, and I saw it and I thought, Lloyd never mentions he does masterclasses in anything useful that's for the business. Anyway, my next thing, another kind of resource slash tool is Matt Navarra's Geek Out newsletter. This is a weekly newsletter where he shares shitloads of stuff that's changing in the social media space and. Uh, it's very detailed. You find out everything you need to know and it's free to sign up for. So just search Matt Navarra Geek Out Newsletter and it's free. Great. Well, that is good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, my next one yeah. is, I think it's pronounced Milanote, but it might be Milanote. M-I-L-A-N-O-T-E. Um, if you're presenting anything visually to anyone in your business, um, have a look at that. And there's a free version Starts at free. No one knows what it costs other than that. <laughs> uh, like every tool we've mentioned. Um, Why don't you just do a PowerPoint, Lloyd? Uh, or, or a I keynote, could do, right? but this is much better mm. because um, it is. <laughs> but it, this is basically made... In not. It's When I say present things, it's not like, oh, slide one, and I'm going to do this talk. It's like a big visual space where you can put texts, images, video. So say you're... Um, try or give us practical for, examples for our business. Come on, Lloyd. Okay, we want to communicate a con a video concept to a client. They currently have no idea about anything to do with this concept. If we just write a bit of a script, it's very hard for them to visualize what that might be like. Whereas if we put excerpts of example parts of the script, we Visuals. put videos Video that examples. we're inspired by. Oh, it could look a bit like this. We put mood boards. Yeah, mood boards with images and colours of like, this is kind of what we're going for with the look. Then they can look at that and go, we click a button, share the link. Mm-hmm. Unlike PowerPoint, where it'd be like, oh, say this is a PDF, send it over mm-hmm. by email. So we just the cloud, share the it? link. They can look at it. They can add comments. Um, and yeah, I think if you're doing anything creative, check it out. It's a really interesting way to communicate your creative ideas. And we found it really helpful. Good. My final one, yeah, Chartable. Chartable is podcasting software that helps you know when you're charting and in what charts. Um, it gives you extra data around your podcast, what's working, what isn't, where your audience are. Um, one of the, my favorite features is Smart Links. So you know, when you produce a podcast, it goes everywhere. It's on Apple, it's on Spotify, it's on YouTube, it's on Google Podcasts. You can create one link that you can set rules for. So if someone has an Apple device, it automatically goes to Apple Podcasts. If someone usually uses Spotify, it automatically goes to Spotify. Or you can have like a landing page that has all the links to everything. And, and that it, helps you having a world leading podcast like the business thing. Exactly. You'll see this when we promote it on social media that we use uh, a smart link from Chartable. And it starts at free like everything. And then I think we pay $20 a month to have unlimited smart links because we're Produce, we're producing a Nolton Nugget on a Monday and a podcast on a Thursday. We need multiple. just in case you wanted to know, listeners, Mondays and Thursdays when you should probably check for more of this great value. Yes. And what about you, Lloyd? Give me your final My tool. My final tool is the entrepreneurial operating system. Is that a tool? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Didn't we do a podcast about this a while ago, Lloyd? An, an in depth detail around how we're applying that system we to our did, business that people should listen you to. You should definitely listen to. Which episode was it? It was episode one of the previous ones. <laughs> and yeah, so you can hear much more detail on it if you want to from there. But um, I've realized more and more over the last couple of years, uh, boring processes in business. One of the most important things if you want to scale and grow your business. Um, and the entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial operating system basically is a massive system that helps you put all of the processes in place in a really efficient way where everyone works brilliantly together and you can achieve your goals. There's a lot more detail to it, but um, I'll let you guys listen to or read the the books if you want to look more into it. But I would definitely recommend it. Good. 
hope you found all of these tools useful. They make our lives a lot easier, don't they? So yeah, hope you've got value from this. And like I was saying with Audible, of like, oh, that minuscule bit of information it has a snowball effect. I think if you can use one of these tools mm. and it has a bit of a positive effect in the next week, that mm. butterfly effect will happen. Snowball, mm. or oh, snowball and butterflies, both of them mm. there and have a really positive effect in the next couple of years. And you had something you wanted to share at the end of this episode, didn't you, Lloyd? Yes. <laughs> um, Dan has decided <laughs> that uh, he wants to be a magician. So he'll be leaving. I love just putting you on the spot with random stuff yeah. that you don't have anything to say. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> on that note, so let's, you're panicking let's, your eyes. let's end it there. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying not to say anything <laughs> weird, offensive, or boring. I uh, think I picked the boring one. Yes. Right. We'll see you next week anyway when Dan is going to share something uh, that he wanted to say. Aren't you, Dan? <laughs> yep. Yeah. See you then. See you next week. <laughs>